Throw my EMP. I can easily get kills. Disable all their stuff. All right. Oh, hit fire. Got him. Oh, don't kill my teammate. Another kill. All right, we got to hurry up. We're losing time. Oh, look at that knife kill. No hesitation. And I'm getting shot at. But you saw that knife kill? You can't hesitate. It has to come naturally to you. All right, call my kill streaks. Someone's here. Oh, drop down. Got him. Oh, and I'm getting shot at. Oh, another easy kill. Oh, he's behind me. He's terrible with a shot. Throw my bouncing Betty just in case he comes. And I got the knife kill. Wow, seven kills in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm bringing you guys a pretty beast gameplay. I got 100 kills and six deaths. And like I said, the gameplay is pretty good and everything, but I wasn't 100% satisfied with the results. You know, just because there were so many different situations, so many different scenarios where I was less than one kill away, you know, less than a few points away actually from getting my next load star or my next stealth chopper, and I just couldn't keep myself alive. And that truly is the difference of me getting 100 kills like I did in this game, or possibly if I stayed alive and, you know, kept those score streaks alive, I could have easily gotten 100 plus kills and less than six deaths. So, you know, that's the topic that I want to cover with you guys today. You know, which is how to achieve a high KDR, but more importantly, how to keep your score streaks alive, especially when they're, you know, really high score streaks, which is something that's tough to do, but it's crucial. It's very important to do that in order to get, you know, beast gameplays and get these high KDR games. So let's get that covered. Now, the first thing that people always do is right when they see a person put up, you know, these beast numbers or these beast games, is that they try to figure out, you know, what type of class setup I'm using. They'll try to mimic that exact class setup right down to the very last detail. You know, so they'll try to figure out what type of gun I'm using, if that gun is suppressed, what type of equipments, what type of perks, you know, all this little stuff. Because in their mind, they think that if they could, you know, copy my class setup right down to the very last detail, you know, they'll be able to get, you know, the exact amount of kills that I get. And a lot of times they'll find out that that's not the case because there's more to achieving, you know, beast gameplays and achieving these high KDR gameplays than just having a certain type of class setup. So I think what's more important is being aware of your surroundings that's the most important thing that's the first thing you need to do or you need to improve on is just simply being aware of your surroundings try to figure out what's going on in the game because let me give you a perfect example there's so many times where I'm rushing somebody and I have one of my teammates ahead of me but I end up dying whether I get shot you know whether I get killed by a grenade or a car explodes whatever it is you know, that teammate ahead of me never acknowledges that I died. That person never noticed that I died. You know, and to me, it's like if you don't notice that, most likely if I died and I was next to you, you're going to end up dying as well. You know, this is why there's so many times when you guys are on, you know, your score streaks, you get shot from the back and this is why, you know. And you're like, how did that happen? My teammate was right there. Well, I understand that, but you have to make it a habit of being aware, you know, again these guys are your green teammates they're not in your lobby they're not in your party you know they're not going to go on the microphone and tell you hey reggie i just died because this guy just shot me or i died by a grenade you know they're not going to tell you that you know you expect them to be alive but that doesn't mean they will be alive you know so it's important to acknowledge that and try to be aware of your surroundings so if a person dies when your teammates dies next to you and you don't see why you know you don't see a red dot on the mini map it's probably because they were killed by a suppressed weapon or by a grenade or something like that you know or by a score streak so the next step is to utilize the kill feed you know that's why the kill feed is there you know it's not there just for looks you know just for show you know it's there to be utilized and i promise you that if you ask any beast player they utilize the kill feed and the mini map like it's nothing you know that's their bible that's their one two step you know that's what they do consistently so be aware of your surroundings you know make it a habit of trying to figure out why is it that your teammates are dying you know and if you could do that you're gonna avoid so many of those times where you die by getting shot in the back you know it may not be your job but you need to do that and you need to be really good at that so it's a basic step but it's very important so be aware of your surroundings so once you try to get that down the second most important thing is 
you know, using the right type of score streaks. And everybody thinks that you have to use the load star or you have to use swarm or dogs, you know, and you're going to see that in this gameplay, I didn't use the swarm at all. You know, I used a stealth chopper and then I used the load star simply as that those two were probably one of my biggest kill streaks. And then I also used dogs at the end, because if you use the load star and then you use the veto, a lot of times what people will do is they'll rage quit, you know, so you don't want that to happen. But more importantly, you want to use score streaks that you know that you can possibly try to challenge yourself with so for example if you're the type of person that's really beast at getting the agr which is the wally kill streak <laughs> so if you can get wally like it's nothing like you could really achieve it whenever you want the next step for you to do is try to get the stealth chopper you know because a lot of times you probably do get the stealth chopper it's just that you don't have it unlocked you're not using it so try to get the stealth chopper as to where that will give you more kills so push yourself a little bit more you know so if you get a care package all the time your next step is try to get a guardian even though it may not be the best kill streak just try to set yourself a milestone you know to kind of track your progress because once you get that milestone the next step for you would be to try to achieve a dragon fire or an agr or whatever you know so do that and then the last thing is trying to get a good class setup. Now for me, as you guys can see, I always use Ghost and Hardline. But if you're going to be using Ghost, make sure that you're not camping. Because the two ways you could get high you know, kill games is by rushing or by camping. And if you're camping, Ghost is not going to work for you. Ghost only works is when you're moving around consistently. So make sure you're using perks that suit your playing style so use ghost if you're going to be moving around and i say use a submachine gun and make it suppressed because you want to stay off the mini map as much as possible so use those two things uh, but more importantly guys again it's all about being aware of your surroundings so let me know if this works out for you guys and uh i guarantee you if you just do that it's going to help you out a lot so let me know how it goes and as always like and subscribe and take care